and it's just going to create this cool animation. Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel Kafo, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the advanced instance modifier inside Blender. And I know using the word advanced sounds a bit cheesy, but I'm going to use it because I actually believe it's quite powerful. So let's play this animation right in the scene. So you can see this animation right in the scene. It's been affected dynamically by the force field. And this is actually a clothes modifier. And it's been um, stacked on top of particle system. And this is only possible because of this modifier. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this. So let's just open the test scene. So we, what we have here is just the instance object and the particle system. So the setup for the particle system is just basic. We have a number of 50 and we have a length of one. So that's the only modification I've done to this particle system. Okay, so to use this modifier, all you need to do is just select this particle, um, select this instant object, which is a grass and set it to particle instance. You just select the particle instance. So the um, UI is quite straightforward, and if you're familiar with the Blender particle system, you can be, you can see some familiar parameters right here. So the object wants to select this object, and also set the particle system if it doesn't set it by uh, if it doesn't set it automatically. Um, so you get this nice chaos here. So that's because we need to always apply the rotation and scale. So it's quite important. So we have we are right here. So we are, we don't have the right rotation. So it's not looking so nice. So to fix that, um, you just skip everything right here. Sometimes you want to set local or word depending on what works in your scene. Um, but we can flip it around using this three axis x, y, and z. So you just set, select the one that um, looks the way you want. And in case it's still not looking the way you want, you can actually go in the edit mode and actually manually rotate it. Okay, so um, once you've gotten to this stage, um, we want it to sit on this plane because uh, we want to be sure that it's actually um, being generated from the particle system we, which we have um, created. So to do that, we have to select this and shift select the plane. And let's apply the rotation and scale just to be sure we are all good and press Ctrl C to copy the location. So this is the actual location of this particular system and um, it's already sitting on it. So let's try and set it to local and see what we get. So everything is still looking good, whether it's word or local. And right now it's floating on the plane and that's not what we want. To fix that, we'll just select the particle and set the length to zero and it's just going to sit on the plane and that's basically that so let's reduce the number and so we can um, just easily see what's happening so i'll set it to 10 and you can also every all the powers you have uh, like all the functionality which you have had like when when you're using a particular system you can still apply it to this method so you're not like losing anything using this method um yeah so that's that that's just basically the setup of it so another thing you want to take into account is um this stuff here so create a long part is going to like constrain it to the strand itself but you to con counter that you have to also click on keep shape so this is important um so that's basic setup you can also play with the randomization of the position and you can also play with the rotation you can randomize the uh, rotation so for now i don't know what this tool does but in case you know what it does you can just leave it in the comments um yeah so that's basically that so now let's enjoy the fruit of our label so we have set up the system. Let's start playing with it. So I can just even add the simple build modifier and it's just gonna create this cool animation automatically. So you could add randomization. 
Okay. Uh, let's add this wave modifier so you can get this cool wave effect. I'll set it on top of the build. Uh, you could like add, let's say we want to restrict the root. So we just create a vertex group and do that. I think we need to invert it. So right now I'm just playing around. We have already gotten everything we need to get about the system. So we can just restrict it to just the top. So it's like really powerful because you are actually dealing with the object itself. So you have um, all the influence. You can exert any influence you want on the object. So you can also add like cloud simulation, soft body simulation, anything you can think of. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you so that YouTube can suggest it to your friend. You can also share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, okay? So thank you again for watching the tutorial. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.